I just can't resist showing you this one, folks. Um, this is an original image here, and this is what we've done to it. You could say this original here is rather boring, but I actually quite like the landscape and the uh, sky. But the sea, the water's just letting it down. So we're going to do this. And it's basically, it's a bit of a combination of uh, what we did with the tattoo, in other words, the displacement map, and what we did in the uh, lesson with the ultimate sky swap. So it's a bit of a hybrid. So this image looks an awful lot better, and we'll now go and create this image from this one. So the first thing I want to do is select that one, go up to single image view, and the first thing we're going to do is create the displacement map. Um, shut that history panel down there. Come away, go on, info. Right, so I'm going to go over to the channels panel, and I'm going to select the blue channel, and I'm going to right click on this blue channel and remember how we made the displacement map in the tattoo duplicate channel don't open it in reflection quickie doc, uh, in the reflection quickie.psd document it needs to go into a new document and we'll call this map okie dokie and we'll click OK now the next thing I want to do is to just um, do something a little bit different because we're not actually going to be using this entire image as a map we're only going to be using part of it and so what we need to do is we need to go and convert this to a grayscale image and the quickest way to do that is just go up to image mode grayscale now you'll see I'm going to switch back into uh, my layers view for this and then I'm going to actually go and get the rectangular marquee tool and we're just going to drag it across all the, all the sky and the land and we'll click there and then what we want to do is we want to actually cut those pixels from the image so that's command or control X and there we go now we've actually cut the landscape and all we've got left is the sea now what I'm going to do is just go onto this background layer and double click it to turn it into an ordinary layer so that we can add a layer mask I'm going to come over to my grad fill tool and making sure that it's running from foreground to background color in other words black to white what we're going to do is just hover just up there hold down the shift key so we're hovering just above the water hold down the shift key and drag to around about this um, this main line of ripples here and just let go right so now we've got a gradual fade on this image the next thing I'm going to do is go over to this layer mask here and right click and say apply layer mask so now we've got this image here we've not got to worry about a mask in there we're going to go command or control L to pull up our uh, levels dialog box and we're really going to crunch the contrast up here we're going to bring the blacks up to there we're going to drag the whites all the way down to there and what we're looking to do is to actually just get some white just in this corner here so keep crunching it down and there we go we've just started to get some white in that corner but we still want to keep some definition in there so ooh, where's that gone use the down arrow key to uh, get some finite control over it take it down to 167 so we have brought our black levels up to 97 we've dropped our white levels down to 167 click OK and that is now going to be our displacement map so we're going to go file save as and I think we'll just go into desktop save and click replace because I've already got one a version of it saved there. So now we're going to go back to our reflection quickie.psd. I hope you've loaded this um, file out, the exercise files by the way. Um, we need to quickly go back to our channels, click on the RGB, come back to layers. And the first thing we're going to do is go command or control J to make a new layer. And then we're going to get that rectangular marquee tool again and we're going to come in here and we're actually going to chop out 
the C. Right, so that's Command or Control X to remove the C. And as you can see, we've chopped it out if we turn off the background layer. Woohoo! Nothing there. Right, so staying inside this new layer one, go Command or Control T to bring up our tra uh, free transform tool, and just go and grab the top node and drag it all the way down like that. Take it down past the um, bottom of the uh, actual frame itself and hit the return key and that just resamples it and applies the change. Alternatively you can just go and click on the move tool. Uh, we will go and click on the move tool actually because we'll need that in a minute. So staying inside this um, now upside down partial layer we go filter distort displace. Now I've already worked this out so what I want you to do is in this horizontal scale put a value of 5 in the vertical scale put a value of 20 make sure it's in stretch to fit and repeat edge pixels and just click OK now it's asking us for our map there's our map click open and there we go so now you can see we've got some nice subtle little ripples and distortions in there looking quite nice We've already got the Move tool selected, so we use the up arrow key, like that, to just, woo, that'll do. And then we'll go Show Transform Controls, and we'll just drag this, come on, back down until it's hanging off the bottom of the image, like that. Lovely jubbly. Uh, hit the Return key to apply the changes, click off that Show Transform Controls, and now what we're going to do is command or control j again to duplicate that layer and what i'm going to do is add some gaussian blur to this um, but before i do i'm going to add a layer mask a white layer mask we're now going to go filter blur and we're going to choose gaussian and enter a radius of one pixel and click ok and of course nothing's happened because genius boy here had the mask selected so <laughs> basically command or control z to undo that uh, change because we've just blurred a white mask click back on the image <laughs> and let's go and have another go um, blur gaussian blur and just use a radius of one pixel and you can see now and we've got this one pixel wide Gaussian blur all over it. We'll click OK. Then click back into the mask. Go over to our grad fill. Making sure it's foreground to background. And now we need to paint, if you like, or grad fill with black to white. To hide and then progressively reveal the Gaussian blur. On this um, particular layer here so we're going to hold the shift key down and just before we do just come just below the top of this mountain here and hold down the shift key click and drag up until we're just inside this little green band just slightly short of the waterline and just let go and there we go so now we've got perfectly clear reflections here with some ripply distortion in it and it's gradually fading till it's getting a little bit fuzzy because there's just a little tiny bit of fuzzy ripple on that water not so much that you can see in the foreground but in the um, middle distance and as it's coming up to the land things will just get just that little bit fuzzier and there you go totally totally convincing so i hope you enjoyed that don't forget Go into the exercise files, grab hold of reflectionquickie.psd and have a go for yourself. I really think that, um, that image has now been transformed from a very dull, boring, flat looking image to something quite interesting. hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you very, very soon.